Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, FIFA 21 was released a few days ago, and obviously a huge part of that is Ultimate Teams. However, there are a lot of reports for PC users of various freezes and crashes, particularly when opening Ultimate Team Packs. Um, these reports are particularly common for players using Radeon RX Vega series graphics cards, and so far, FIFA or Radeon have not addressed the issue at all. I'm going to show you a fix which should solve the issue for you, although this is just a temporary workaround until this bug gets officially patched. If the fix works for you, please do leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out and is very much appreciated. So let me just show you what currently happens so you can see if it's the same issue that you're having. I'm going to buy just a bronze pack because I don't want to waste coins on this because I won't actually get to see the animation at all. Um, but one of two things will happen, and it, everything else works fine, all other game modes work fine. It's literally just after you buy a pack and it goes to the animation screen to reveal your pack, that is when the error will happen. One of two things will happen, it'll either go to a black screen completely freeze up and the only way you can get out of the game is to F4 out of it or it will throw you a very random um, error message which sometimes suggests that your graphics card has been removed or isn't there or one of a couple of things but let's see what happens here there you go so you'll get an error message it might look like this or it might say something similar mine changes every time but this is essentially the error message that you'll get or you'll get just a black screen now, as I said, the fix is um, a bit odd, and it's a bit of a pain because you have to do it every time you want to play the game, or, or and you have to undo it when you want to play the game. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Make sure you watch the video to the end, because after we've done the fix, you need to do something else before you can actually launch the game again next time. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Um, but essentially, this is what we need to do. First, you need to go into Origin, launch FIFA, so that this window here appears now this it's very important that this window here is visible and is up um before we move on to the next step and we don't go any further than this so don't click on play just make sure this window is now launched from origin what you need to do now is to go into your uh documents folder and you should have a, a folder in there for, uh, called fifa 21 go into that folder and you'll see you should have a fifa setup file uh just here now you need to double click on that to open it. It will open up in Notepad. Um, and this line here where it says DirectX select equals zero should be the default. You need to change that zero to one and then file, save. Close the file down, right click up, uh, right click on the setup file and go to properties and then tick the read only box. Hit apply and okay. That ensures the game can't change things back uh, while it's playing. Now that we've done that, we can now click on play and launch the game and i'll just go on to the uh, store screen and we'll buy a pack and hopefully you can see that this has resolved the issue now as i said once i've shown you that make sure to stay to the end of the video because we need to do something else if we want to uh, once once we've closed the game down to uh, open it back up again so I've skipped ahead and we are now ready to try again now that we've applied our fix. Um, the annoying thing is every time you go back to the store, you've got to deal with the items that you didn't actually get to see revealed, um, which is why I only bought a, a bronze pack. Um, but let's give this a try now. And hopefully we'll see this has been resolved. Hopefully now you'll see this has fixed the issue. There you go, as you can see, loads absolutely fine um, and the game runs perfectly now. Now, as I said, it's very important now, if I close, uh, if I exit out of the game, let's just close here. Now, what we need to do, because now that we've changed this setup file here, if I close this uh, window here down now, I won't be able to launch that FIFA window again. If I click play, nothing will happen. So what we need to do is go back into this setup file and this is the next time you want to play go back into that setup file change the DirectX select back to zero sorry before you do that right click on the file go to properties make sure that it's not read only anymore hit apply hit ok then open it up change that DirectX select back to zero file save now when we launch now we can launch this first window this one here and now at this point we go back into this file again we change the DirectX select back to one. We go file, save, close that down, right click, properties, set that to read only again, apply, okay. And now the game will launch. And 
should be bug free in terms of opening packs. So as I said, it's a really strange workaround. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, but for some people at the moment, until an official patch comes out, that's the only way to open packs and actually see the animation um, for pack openings. I understand this issue um, happens sometimes as well in FIFA 20. I don't know whether this is a fix for FIFA 20. I've not played FIFA 20 much, um, but this certainly works if you are having the same issue, which is primarily with Vega graphics cards um, for FIFA 21. If this worked for you, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching.